Hey everybody, this is a quick testimony. Um, yesterday I posted something like this sentence that was just burning in my heart saying that if it's not in his agenda then I don't want it to be mine, right? So today I had a break and I felt like this is strong. I just felt like I wanted to come to this park, which I did. <laughs> and I wanted to be here, spend some time with Jesus. I love spending time, you know, with the Lord. That's the best thing we can do, right? Um, besides ministry, of course, but the core of it is really like being with Him. That's just my passion. And it's a nice place here, by the way. Um, anyways, <laughs> so I came here and it's M very empty like if you come here on a Sunday it's a lot of people but if you come here during the week it's just like very empty so I'm driving and then I see somebody sitting in an armchair like in the parking lot in an armchair and I'm driving slowly you know just so I'm about to park so I just joke and I say hey that looks really comfortable <laughs> and when I say that the person goes like Daniela how are you and I'm like oh my gosh Joe Person. Like, I met this person five years ago in a project when I did some projects for, you know, interpreting um, big projects and stuff with Disney and anyways, and he was the cameraman. <laughs> Long story short, um, he begins to explain to me that he's here in this park to record a program about well-being and feeling peace and yoga, like what can you do to feel peace and, and all that. And here I am. And today I just felt like, like, led to dress very, like, hipsy, I would say, like, to get the flowers in my head. I have, a, like, a long dress. <laughs> so as we were chatting, he goes, like, this, the crew of the TV channel that is here to record the program approach him and he introduces me. Oh, this is, and then he says the channel, it's a Brazilian channel, I don't know, um, TV channel, whatever. And then they go like, oh, it's a nice dress and we begin chatting and I just see what I do. And then of course they tell me that they're here for this program and I, and that was just the perfect scenario to share Jesus. Cause I'm like, of course, you know, they're here talking about feeling peace and well-being so I say I shared the Lord I said well you know that what Jesus did on the cross is real it's not a fairy tale he paid the price and uh, God is the source of all peace and of all, all love and joy and everything we need and so when he did that he opened he made the way for us to have a relationship with the Father so um, how do we receive it it's a gift because Jesus is the gift of salvation and so that we can receive the forgiveness of our sins we can be forgiven of our sins and have eternal life so it's the beginning of this amazing relationship and then I shared you know like the gospel of course all this is the gospel but you know I talked a little bit more and they were like uh -huh, uh -huh. it was just so beautiful because it was God it was like a setup from the Lord so we prayed they prayed the prayer of salvation of course probably they don't have the understanding but they received in the spirit because I could see all of them the entire crew maybe five of them they all came they all accepted the prayer. I prayed for them for the revelation of Jesus as Lord and Savior of their lives and for them to receive the gift of, of forgiveness of sins, the gift of salvation and they all repeated the prayer with me and then at the end they could tell like their eyes were tearing up I'm like so this is the real peace. This is the peace that he wants us to have because when we have the relationship with God that's the source and then that's it I left and I'm gonna have my time. Isn't it amazing? I just pray that the seed will grow. Of course, I give the contact for the church. I explain that it's important to nurture this relationship now so that you can grow in the peace, you know, and everything that, that he has. So just wanted to share this. It's such a joy to share the gospel is a joy. To share the gospel is a privilege. Whatever we go and just be like open for the leadings of the Holy Ghost. Thank God. I just opened my window and I spoke to a total stranger, which wasn't a stranger. But if I hadn't done that, uh, you know, nothing would have happened probably. So to God be the glory and uh, be encouraged. Let him use you in the big things and in the little things. Amen. God bless you all. Bye.